Hello, I'm Debbie Polichek. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I enjoy using the Stampin' Up! designer series paper uh, to create a smaller version of this same flower. This flower here was stamped the way I'm going to show you with all three of the stamps in the set. And these, these stamps do have dies to go with them. One tip I have can tell you about that I do, that I, I put a mark on the top with magic marker on the top of each one of my flowers here. This is the marker I use. It's called a pilot twin marker. Find the top of that flower. I will put a mark on the top of my die as well. And that way, every time I use my dies and my stamps, I will be able to put those to the top and put these to the top, and it makes it a lot easier to find the area that you want to cut. Okay, so this time, like I said, I'm gonna this time I'm gonna just use the small, make a small flower like this one, and um, I'm gonna cut two, two of this very same small, smallest of the leaves. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to line it up in the deal. I cut a piece two and a quarter by five here, just to, big enough just to um, stamp this. And I'm stamping it in soft suede on Whisper White paper. And on these stamps, I've noticed you need to be, be real good uh, to poke that in the inside pretty hard because that, that part doesn't want to uh, stamp unless you do that. So I'm going to flip that around, do the same thing here. Now I'm going to go ahead and color these. And the color that I enjoy the most with this was the soft suede and the... Now what's really funny about this, I spent probably three or four minutes looking for the stamp pad that is right here in this video. Right there in front of me. Good Lord. The soft suede and the honeybee. Now the honeybee to me is not a great color that matches the inside of the flower, but yet it matches the paper from those little um, hollies or whatever those are there. Okay, so here I've got this and I'm going to take my uh, uh, dauber that goes with those colors. And I'm going to use the honeybee. And I'm going to go towards the inside of my flower and work myself out. And I'm going to try to leave some of that white there. Okay. Do the same thing again. Okay. Then I'm going to take the soft suede. And go in the inside of that area, not as much as I did the honey. And I also will use this again when I get through cutting this. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my flower. Again, this is at the top, so this should be right at the top. Place this over. Cut that out and I'll be back. This is not my day. I had it in my hand and I lost it between three feet away from me. Okay, I had to make another one. And after I got, get through making the other one, guess what I lost next? The die that, again that was sitting right there in front of me. And uh, take my dauber again. And I'm just going to sponge around the edges of the petals. Take these two and just dampen them real lightly on the back. Don't want too much water. Mat here. And I'm just going to press these in each petal. 
work it all the way down. Then I'll take it and flip it around. Now I could use some Versamark, the reinker, and uh, dot those little stamen on the inside with the stylus. Or I can use some glue, do the foil technique, which you just take your glue, your stylus, and just, I'm going to flatten that out just for a second and put those in there. Okay, then you just take your foil, the shiny side up, and just put it over the top of that and let it stick. A pretty center on your flower. Now you can use glue dots, regular glue. I'm gonna use a glue dot because of hot glue right now since that one is a little bit damp yet. Would be better than the, um, the white glue right at this point. So the glue dot will stick even to the dampness, I believe. Let's see. Yep, I believe so. And then you just turn this so the leaves don't meet. And you got your pretty little flower. So here I've got the one with the three and the smaller version with the two. And as soon as I find my go foil, I'm going to cut some more of these. These things here. I'll cut those in go foil. But the, even though the green will go pretty with this paper too, as you can see, green, probably the gold would be fine. I'm going to use the go foil. Here's my go foil. I like the go foil with it. So, okay, in our next video, we're going to be making a box for our flowers. So, I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.